Hello guys, welcome to Jayhook and in today's session we are going to see Terraform Output Values. First we are going to see uh, what is Terraform Output Values and what is the concept behind it. And secondly we are going to perform the, an actual demo on our AWS console. Now the question comes what is Terraform Output Values. So if you are previously familiar with any programming language then uh, you might know like how to print any message on a console. So let's take an example with a Python. So if you want to print a hello message on a Python, then you are going to write like print and in the parenthesis, you are going to write your message. So it is going to be printed on your console. And similarly, if you have worked with the Java, then you can just uh, write down system.out.println and the message inside it. And this message will be printed on your console. In Terraform, we pretty much use the same concept and we call it as a output values. So here in the Terraform file, you're going to define your output values and that could be defined using the keyword output and then you need to uh, assign some name to it. So here I'm assigning the name my console output. Uh, you can see over here, I can highlight it here also. So this is the name of my output values that is my console output and you can uh, put any message inside the value. Okay, so once you apply this uh, configuration, that means Terraform apply. Once you run the Terraform apply command, then it is going to print this message onto your console. So this message like hello, this is output. So this message you will get once you run the Terraform apply command. Before we jump to the demo, uh, if you haven't seen my previous session where I have explained what is Terraform and how to set up Terraform on a Google Cloud as well as AWS. And after that, I have explained like what is Terraform variables and what is variable.tf, tfr and command line variables and also the Terraform locals. So please go and check those uh, sessions. Those are really useful to understand Terraform. To start the demo on the screen, you can see on the right hand side, this is my guide which I have prepared. And in this guide, I'm, I have mentioned uh, all the codes which I'm going to use inside my Terraform file. So feel free to copy that code if you're trying to learn the Terraform output values. And on the left hand side, this is my Visual Studio code where I have uh, uh, written my Terraform file. Okay, so I'll put this link into the description section. So feel free to use it. Okay, so to start with uh, the objective of this today's session is we need to perform the demo for output values. So this is the output value which we want to which we want to print on our terminal. Okay, this message is pretty simple. Hello, this is output. This is the sample message which we want to print. But before we uh, actually run those Terraform apply terraform plan command first of all let's understand this main.terraform file so here uh, first of all the first section is provider since i'm performing this demo on aws that's why i have used provider aws secondly i'm going to start an ec2 machine and virtual machine on my aws instance that's why i have taken an aws instance as a resource and the machine id because we need to mention a machine id that you can uh, copy it from aws console and if you don't know then please check my part one where i have shown like how to copy this uh, machine id and the instance type which i am provisioning is t2 micro uh, because we just uh, want to use this for our demo purpose not for production use that's why i'm using very less cpu over here and the third thing, the output value. So this is how we declare a output variable or output value inside our Terraform file. So first of all, you need to use keyword output. After that, you can assign any name. This can be a meaningful name for your output values, uh, but keep some suitable name. And for the demo purpose, I have kept it as a my console output, but you can change it uh, as per your need. And this is the message which I want to print over here. Okay, so this is my overview of main.terraform file. The first command which I need to run over here is terraform init. And that will download all the AWS dependency onto your uh, local system. And once you're done with the terraform init command, the second command which you need to run is terraform plan. Okay, so uh, my Terraform plan command has just completed and here you can see on the console, this is the output which I have got. So hello, this is the output. So this is the first output which uh, you got after using the Terraform output values and you can change it also. And uh, uh, I can type the message I have changed it. Okay, that's done. Let's rerun the command. I'll clear the terminal over here, Terraform plan. And here you can see the message has been changed. Okay, I'm not going to run my Terraform apply command right now uh, because this is a very simple message which I, we wanted to print. So Terraform plan command is self-sufficient enough to print these kind of messages. 
But in the next uh, Terraform file, I'm going to run the Terraform apply command where we are going to print the actual ID of our EC2 instance. For that purpose, we need to run our Terraform apply command so that we can see the actual output. Okay, but uh, this is how you print a message on the console of our Terraform. Here you can you can assume this as a hello world of our Terraform. Moving further, uh, let's update this Terraform file and instead of uh, printing some static messages uh, we want to print some dynamic values and the what dynamic value which i'm talking over here is the public ip address of my ec2 machine so as you know uh, we are trying to start an ec2 machine on aws so once an ec2 machine starts on aws machine then it gets an public ip address so we want to print that public ip address using this output uh, values okay so if you move into the guide, there is a section like how to print public IP of AWS instance. So for that, what you need to do is you need to update your output values uh, with this. So what you need to mention AWS instance, first of all, the keyword, because uh, if here you can see on the studio uh, on my left hand side of my uh, terminal. So here, uh, this is the AWS instance. That's the resource. So you need to mention the exact same name over here. After that, you need to mention the name of your resource that is EC2 underscore example because I have taken the name EC2 example. You might take some other name. So just replace that name over here. And after that, you need to uh, put public IP. That's the keyword which you need to mention uh, so that you can get the public IP address of your EC2 instance. Okay, I'm going to copy this line, this value line from here from my guide. And I'm just gonna head over to my uh, main.terraform file. I'm just gonna remove this static line where we were printing hello. So what I'll do, I'll just paste that updated value. Okay, so I'm just gonna save this file and on the terminal, I'll first of all clear it. Since we have already run the terraform init command, so you don't need to rerun it again. So the next command which you can run is terraform plan. Okay, so uh, as I told you, uh, this is something uh, dynamic which we are trying to print onto our console. Uh, but in the previously, uh, we have seen we have printed a static message. And once we want to print a static message, then we can see uh, on our terminal as soon as we run the terraform plan command. But here, uh, we are trying to print some uh, dynamic value that is public IP address of our EC2 machine. And since we are running the terraform plan command, so terraform plan command doesn't provision or doesn't start EC2 instance on AWS. That's why uh, this is like known after apply. Here you can see uh, we are not getting any public IP address because terraform plan command doesn't actually start an EC2 uh, instance on our AWS console. So that's why we are getting a uh, known after apply. So the next thing which we need to do is you need to uh, clear this terminal. And the command which you need to run is terraform apply. Ah, it should be like this terraform apply. So it should take a minute or so. And uh, yeah, we will get the public IP address after that. You need to type in the uh, value yes over here. Okay, so now my EC2 machine has been started and here you can see the output, my console output and the IP address which I'm getting over here is 18195.170.33. So that's the actual public IP address of my EC2 machine. And now our EC2 machine has been started on my AWS. Let's head over to our AWS console and see whether this machine has been started or not. So here uh, on this uh, uh, browser, you can see this is my AWS account and uh, yeah. I'll increase the size of this screen and we can just click on EC2 over here and here you can see one instance is running so just click on it and here you can see this is the EC2 instance which I have just started and the name is Terraform EC2 and that you can check uh, from here also so that's the same name tag which we have given over here and also you can verify the attributes and uh, so if you scroll it horizontally so this is the public ip address if you can see 18195.170.33 so that's the same ip address uh, we are getting over here so i'll keep it over here and uh, you can see it over here uh, probably this font is too small for you so i can increase the uh, size of the screen so that you can see so now you can see the public IP address over here that is 
and that's the same IP address we uh, got over here as a console on our output values that is on our terminal. All right, so now we can destroy our EC2 instance since we have seen like how to print our public IP uh, using the output values. Uh, so I'll just minimize this browser and I'll go back to my terminal. I'll clear the screen and the command which I'm going to run is terraform destroy. And it is going to destroy my EC2 instance. So I'll be back once it's done. As you can see, uh, destroy complete. That means our EC2 instance has been destroyed. And we can uh, verify by going back to our AWS console and just refresh this. And here you can see there is no EC2 instance which is running right now. Okay, so now we know like how to use our output values. And here, this is the guide where I have mentioned all those things. So you can just uh, check this guide. There's also one more important uh, attribute actually, uh, that's called sensitive. And once you put this sensitive flag to true over here, so it will not print any sensitive information onto your terminal. So let's say if you don't want to expose your public IP address or any password or any host name, from your staging or production environment, then you can use this attribute along with your output values. So it will just save you uh, from printing those uh, sensitive information onto the terminal. Okay, so how to do that? What I'll do is I'll just copy this sensitive equals true over here and I'll just increase this size and I'll just hit enter. And after that, what you need to do is uh, I'll just remove this value. I'll just gonna print some static values, hello this is sensitive okay uh, i just don't want to provision my ec2 instance again and again uh, but we just wanted to uh, see the sensitive flag okay so i'll just do clear the console and since i have already run the terraform init command so i don't need to run it uh, the command which i'm gonna run is terraform plan because i'm printing the static value so i don't need to run terraform apply actually so i'm just gonna run terraform plan and here you can see once you run the terraform plan command with the sensitive uh, equals true into your output values then it is not going to output any values or it is not going to print any values onto your console so with this feature you can uh, pretty much save your sensitive information from getting printed onto your console i hope you liked the today's session on terraform output uh, values and uh, if you are interested in more on terraform then you can follow these guides where i have um, shown like how to start with the Terraform like from installation and starting up your EC2 instance and all the lab session which I have already uploaded on my YouTube channel also. And this is the fifth part which I have uh, just finished up. And I'll be uploading the similar lab session on Terraform in upcoming weeks also for the rest of the Terraform. So please do follow uh, on YouTube and if you have any questions or errors then please put down into the comment section and also you can find me on the web with the name jhook.com where I keep on uploading the guides and updating the same guides with the uh, all the codes and the instructions so feel free to use those guides and yeah do follow the channel and also just put down your wishes and the comments uh, that will be really helpful and for me so see you into the next terraform session till then bye bye take care